<laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. So after a long run through the middleweight ranks, here he is making the walk to the octagon for his first championship fight at 185 pounds. And this man hasn't just worked his way up the rankings. He has taken on all comers, and more often than not, he has taken out the opposition. So with the win streak in tow, now the challenges get bigger, and of course, none bigger than the incumbent, the UFC middleweight champion. We'll see how his style matches up tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, presenting the challenger, Grandmaster. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Jack the Joker Hermansson. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? Another head kick land. He's hurt bad. 
fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. And there is the UFC middleweight champion. Hard to be much more impressive than that on the biggest of stages. A knockout win to leave as the middleweight king. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Next time he fights, it'll be black trunks with gold oh. trim. Congrats to the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Championship colors will be worn by this young man the next time he walks into the octagon. He came in there with a game plan, stuck to it, and got the job done. Congrats to the new UFC. And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender for a long time. This man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now. He is healthy. He is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live 
from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Paolo the Eraser. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, and not fight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion, and what a fight it was for him his last time out, winning the belt by vicious knockout. We're expecting massive pay-per-view by the He's broken. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying. Oh, hurt. Grab that one at all. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, wow! That was nasty. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. There is the undisputed king of the 185 pounders, the UFC middleweight champion of the world. And how about the knockout to get the job done tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 52 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and still. And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that. All right, coming up next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185-pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago. But he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight.
So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run rough shot through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Cannoneer is six years his senior. Same numbers on reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, presenting the challenger, Jared the Killer Gorilla. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Grandmaster! All right, this is for the championship. If you give me the instructions in the dressing room, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this morning. Ready. So here we go with this UFC middleweight championship fight. The round one clock. Whoa! Back to the feet. Spinning back this is there. Unable to connect there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Grand Master. And still the 
king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here.